Hello everyone and welcome back to more of the Oblivious Garden. I'm asking Lyra a question. What is your answer? Hmm. 怪不得你有所顾虑，对我这战败国的俘虏来说，的确是很失礼的问题呢。I apologize. 罢了，事到如今，怨天尤人也没有用。跟、oh, 你讲讲也无妨。不过在那之前，我想先听听你对这个问题的回答。Why? 没错，艾尔里斯，你这传说中的名将，对战争究竟抱着怎样的态度？ No, I feel a little confused about why Lyra is asking. I answer honestly. I think there is nothing cooler than wars in this world. She smiles. Expression of ridicule mixed with surprise. 没想到你这只会别人去打仗的，居然会以受害者的态度来看待战争啊。To be honest, this is what I truly think. Objectively speaking, war has meaning. Oh, 这话怎么讲 ？He looks quite interested. An oracle said everything has two sides, like a coin. 两面。Yes, like a coin. <laughs> War makes children orphans and people homeless. It causes cities to be in ruins. There are downsides, but on the other hand, our history and culture progresses rapidly through wars. In order to fight enemies, people invented the method to extract iron from ore and make weapons with iron. From another perspective, don't our iron tools for building lumbering and quarrying come from this? Huh? <laughs> 能证明冶炼技术是因为战争而诞生的证据，哪里都没有吧？ Lyra replies dismissively. Well, I will give you another example. Imagine your favorite book is written in a foreign language. You have to learn that language in order to read it. Even if you know the language, the book might not be introduced into your country. But if you conquer that country, languages will be unified. You can read it without any difficulty. That is a horrible example. Why would we say that? That. Ugh. Taking a step back, if you don't conquer that country and just occupy it later, the book might also be introduced into your country and get translated into your language later. So wars help culture. Hmm. Wars help culture and civilization to spread around. Our technology also develops in the wars. Species evolve through the processes of fighting. 好吧，算你说的有理。Good. You see in our our side. Lyra reluctantly agrees, although she looks a little unsatisfied. 不过，你举的那些例子都可以通过国家之间的和平交流达成吧 ？No, we have to shoot the people. I think it's complicated. It's complicated. I look at my face in the cup. Well, first of all, none of it matters in the communications between countries. When there are two countries whose powers are equal, if one country's proposal will damage the welfare of the other, then no agreement will can be made. Imagine one country in the East is suffering from hunger. The government is a, 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 the government is unable to solve the problem, and they want to seek help from the other country. But the other one in the West has to refuse because it is suffering itself. So people will start to fight for necessary goods in order to survive. Conflict will spread, and then the country will fall into chaos. Armies will be moved to maintain order. The situation will become tense because of the mobilization of armies. If the two countries don't trust each other, a war will begin. This is not controlled by the emperors. Lyra looks bad after hearing my explanation. It must be hard to accept. When my teacher first told me the truth, I acted the same way she did. The world, this world, is irrational, very irrational. I think whoever has experienced that cruel war should have his own real opinion about it. So, Lyra, your highness. What's your opinion on war? Want to know? I do, actually. That's why I ask. Okay, fine. I'll drink my tea. I have to obey. Oof! I spit it all out. Lear bursts into laughter, like showing any etiquette as a princess. Shut up! It's horrible. Chen Tai, you know Ben Gong's super strong, right? How? How can I be so sweet? 
Though I put so much fruit jam in this tea, this nauseating sweetness is absolutely not from it. Then I notice that the sugar jar on the plate is almost empty. Oh my. Well, no one likes war. 不管有怎样的理由，他残酷的一面是不会改变的。Do you ever, ever, anyone ever watch the movie Schindler's List? A really good movie.、Uh, Oscar Schindler says that、uh, war always brings out the worst in people, never the good, always the bad.、Yeah. Really, kind of true in a way. You can show the extent of humanity's cruelty, and not in flattering light. 这样没有道理的事，我无法接受。I see. I already can feel my tongue because of the tea. Lyra is still smiling at me, but her face is quite serious. Shumi, you this person is actually like me. I'm very happy. I feel the same way. I'm happy to see her beautiful smiling face. The tea tastes different now, but it doesn't matter anymore.、It、doesn't matter. Okay. I encounter Marion during my walk. It is not uncommon to see her. However, she looks abnormal to me. Her eyes are blurred, and she is walking unsteadily, as if she has lost her soul. Miss Marion? Ah,、oh, 是艾尔先生啊。您在散步吗 ？I try to talk to her, but she's absent of mind at first. This is not like her at all. Something's wrong. Ah,、uh, are you feeling okay? 还真是冒昧呢。艾尔先生为何这么问 ？I'm sorry, but I just feel like you don't look that well. 这样啊，谢谢您的关心。She looks normal now after speaking for a few moments. Was she thinking something else just now? So, do you feel all right? Is there anything uncomfortable? 哎，也不能说是不是，只是感觉好像忘记了什么事情。Something important. 如果是重要的事情，我应该不会忘记吧。应该只是无关紧要的小事。Mm, that makes sense. Marion is such a trustworthy girl; she can almost remember everything important deep in her heart. I don't have to worry now that she says. 哎呀，都已经这个时候了吗 ？Marion screams hysterically upon seeing the setting sun. Did you remember something? 嗯，这个时间我应该去给莱拉殿下的房间点灯的，失陪了。She then rushes in the direction of Lear's room. It should be this way. I walk along the path from where Marion came. Such an unexpected place. It is not long before I arrive at a church. Maybe it is for the servants. It looks smaller and less decorated than the church for princesses. There are some old benches on each side of the corridor. It's the statue of a goddess sits on an altar at the end of the corridor. Unlike a gorgeous cathedral, it has stained glass only on the wall behind the altar. The other two sides are cold and coarse stone walls. There are no candles on the shrines, so the only source of light after closing the door is the sunshine from the window. The dim light makes this place especially desolated. Disciples with different stats treat their gods differently. I kneel in front of the statue, whispering ironically. I don't know the right ritual to pray. I just want to give myself some confidence to do so. Kind, merciful, and beautiful goddess, please bless me to accomplish my job in this miracle plot.、Oh. There's a beam of light coming from the gap behind the altar. Curiously, I take out whatever was in there. What's this? There is an emerald shimmering on my palm. An emerald? Wow. Let's pocket that thing. Sell for later. It's very good clarity, although it also has an unorganized shape. It is so perfectly transparent that I even think it is just a piece of colored glass. However, its coldness and weight proves that it is not fake. It touches the floor with it slightly, making a clear sound of gems. There is a mysterious green light coming out from its core, making me want to touch it. The second time I touch it, every, it doesn't give me the choice. I either touch it, I have to touch it. Of course, I touch it anyway. Everything in front of me changes without warning. What? Everything comes into my eyes like waves from the sea, feeling them on me. 
I am completely conscious. I perceive precisely a scene in front of me which I have never seen. The smell of the air, the touch of the wind, and the temperature of the light. A familiar lake appears in front of me. The water is reflecting the golden scenes around on its stable surface. Two little kids in gorgeous clothes are playing by the lake. I want to call them, but I can't make a sound. I cannot move as my body has gone slack. Surprisingly, though, I feel no pain. It's as if I am the lakeside tree at the very beginning. Hey, Bodica. Um. The boy speaks to the girl in a heavy tone. I'm going back tomorrow morning. Going back to your country? Yes, father's finished their talking today. So tomorrow morning I have to go back with my father, the king. Um. The girl looks at the ground. Sadly. Will I not see you again? No, no, we just can't see each other for a little while. The boy holds the girl's hands emotionally. You still remember our oath, Bodica? Yes, will you come to marry me when we grow up? I will. I will be the king anyway and wear your wedding ring in the future. Facing the boy's sincere eyes, the girl lowers her head shyly. The boy seems to realize something. He takes out an emerald and puts it into the girl's hand. Can I get a ring right now? This is a pledge of our promise. Keep it till the day I marry you. Is it to do? Yes, it is. You promised that you will give it back to me at this time to show me you still remember what we said today, right? Yes, I will keep my words, sir. Right at this moment, everything in front of me at the scenery, the voice of smell, all retreats again and waves. Hey guys, this is just getting good. Commercial break. Find I'm still in the little church when I come back to reality. I'm sitting on a bench with an emerald in my hand. Oh, I can't keep this now. Wait, where'd it go? The emerald suddenly disappears as if my mysterious green light and it never existed. I search the surrounding area in case it is a treasure that belongs to somebody, but I, I find nothing. Was I just dreaming? If the gem in the picture was a dream, then that explains everything, but because what happened in the dream is irrational. Well, it is so late now. It is completely dark in the church. The sun is almost below the horizon. I rush to my room in case Finn will not wait for me for long, leaving all the questions behind. A day has passed. Though I haven't done anything, I am really tired. I become sleepy lying on the bed. I did not do anything today. Why am I feeling so tired? I haven't made tea for a long time. How would the princesses feel about my tea today? I oh, wonder the princesses would love my tea. Soon enough, falls. Just as yesterday. I hope I will not meet that guy again. Yo, greetings, really, Your Excellency. Damn it. So. So what the? So there you go again, you strange guy. You are not thinking of abandoning me, are you? I really, Your Excellency. Please stop calling me that. I don't even know you. What is this familiarity? I really, Your Excellency. After all the time I've been by your side for so long, you... You were so ruthless to abandon me. Let me say it again. I don't know you. Oh, so you say. I have not introduced myself. You better know that. Speak your name. I'm getting really impatient facing this guy. It is not time yet. What? That depends on what your choice is. What choice? Don't choose my one. No, actually, you cannot choose me. What? No, just a little quick. Speaking of making tea, I haven't done that for a long time. So you know how to make tea? Oh, really, Excellency, I know everything about you, including your first love. That beautiful lady. What, what have you done? Maybe memory snipping. 
okay, I won't make fun of you, so... Who will you choose? What, who? Maybe you will know tomorrow. Anyway, I need to be gone for a while, I guess. That would be wonderful. Get out of here. Oh, no, you're actually so ruthless. The problem is, I don't know you. You also provoke me all the way. This is not provocation. At most, it is ridicule. It is a surprise that you know what you've done. Your really, Excellency, I've lived longer than you. How are you? About a thousand years old. Why do I have such a ridiculous guy in my dream? I have never met you. So that indicates I'm the kind of guy you would like to become. Don't make these gross jokes. Oh, I know, I know. No matter whom you choose, you have to share her agony. What do you mean? Don't you know the meaning of choice? I cannot and will not betray the Emperor. Um, it might not be your choice to make when the time comes. I will not do so, no matter the situation. Okay, okay, you win. Do not show your loyalty in this way. It makes me feel sick. <laughs> Loyalty should depend on the object, Ben. Are you loyal to the Emperor or to the country? But I love you anyway. For your earnestness and gentleness. Sorry, I don't do that. Neither do I. Well, it's about time. Remember, no matter whom you choose, you have to share her agony. So I'll see you in a while. My dear, really excellent. I said I don't do. Yes, yes, I've heard you. I hope your prediction is correct. Well, soon enough. Who? The whole world turns dark before I can ask anything. Then my mind sinks into the deep ocean. Well, I am going to end the video off here, and I will see you all in the next part. The game's getting interesting, isn't it? So, take it easy, guys.